The average home in the Austin area sold for about $28,000 over the asking price. That's according to a new report from real estate broker Redfin. And that's up 8% from a year ago. No other metro grew as much. And KXAN's Tyra Rahman reports some families are getting creative. We very genuinely fell in love. Jennifer Gamone was passing through Austin last fall when she and her husband decided this is where they wanted to raise their kids. Literally everywhere you go, Everyone is so nice and wanting to help. The process wasn't as quick. Gamon put in nearly a dozen different offers, all rejected. To the point of tears. In Austin, John Kniss is hoping to go from renting to buying in his neighborhood. I have a few friends here and um, I don't want to like start over and have to make new friends. He's hoping to skip the competition altogether, asking neighbors to give him a call if they're considering selling this year. Hope that somebody's going to want to make a quick and easy sale um, or, you know, the timeline that they need or the other conditions that they may need. We can meet that. Redfin agent April Miller says she's not surprised by the tactic. She's being outbid now more than ever to see on my dashboard that 56 offers had been written and lost all due to multiple offer situations is unheard of uh, in my career. It's how Gamon ended up finding her home, a seller with an urgent timeline. Every day we would literally wake up, look out our window and say, how did this happen? We are so lucky. Luck that Kniss is also hoping to catch soon. We're hoping with this next round of letters that we'll get lucky. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. So who's getting burned the most by this buying frenzy? The Redfin agent that we spoke with says she noticed most first time home buyers and veterans dropping their home searches completely because it's so difficult to compete. She hopes more supply on the horizon will help get them into homes. The National Association of Home Builders is concerned about the future of the housing market because of skyrocketing lumber prices. The group is urging the Biden administration to take action to address this and supply shortages. Last week, they sent letters out to the Agriculture Secretary and the U.S. Forest Service Chief. They're recommending ways to ease lumber price volatility and to boost supply. The NAHB is also calling for better forest management practices to increase the supply of timber. Austin is also one of the busiest home building markets in the nation. Based on last year's numbers, the Austin Round Rock metro area handed out more than 21,000 single family home permits. The only major metro areas with more are Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, Phoenix and Atlanta.